hi everyone welcome back to our channel in this video i will give another example on regular false method see the statement of the given problem apply regular false method to estimate a real root of the equation e power x into sin x is equal to 1 which lies between 0.5 and 0.6 here in this problem directly initial approximations of the required root are provided which, which are 0 0.5 and 0 0.6 so it is not necessary to investigate again okay so as usually let us denote the given equation with f of x f of x is equal to e power x into sin x minus 1 is equal to 0 take it equation number 1 so first we should find out f of 0 0.5 value directly which is e power 0 0.5 times of sin of 0 0.5 minus 1 okay by using scientific calculator we can find out this functioning value so see here whenever trigonometric terms are involved then that equation is known as transitory equation whenever sin and cos and the remaining trigonometric or functions are involved in this in the given problem you should keep your scientific calculator in radians mode first okay uh, here the calculator is in degree mode so operate mode we do not have here so shift mode see see the options in fourth step in the fourth point you have the radians mode so operate 4 now your scientific calculator reduce it to radians mode now calculate any value shift ln which is e power we need 0 0.5 times sin of 0 0.5 minus 1 so you will get negative which is minus 0 0.2095 don't forget one important thing whenever given equation contains sin or cos and the remaining trigonometric functions you should reduce the calculator into radians mode now calculate f of 0 0.6 which is e power 0 0.6 and sin of 0 0.6 minus 1 again use the scientific calculator so shift ln which is e power so 0.6 sin of 0.6 and subtract with uh, minus 1 you will get the functioning value at 0 0.6 which is 0 0.0288 okay which is positive which is positive okay anyway according to intermediate value theorem we are observing that required root lies between 0 0.5 and 0 0.6 so you can take this is a value and this is b value okay so by regular false method by regular false method we can find out the next better approximation the next better approximation is the next better approximation for required root is x1 is equal to write the formula here a into f of b minus b times of f of a over f of b minus f of a okay substitute all values in this one so what is a value 0 0.5 into what is f of b 0 0.0288 minus what is b value 0 0.6 and uh, what is f of a negative value so you should write minus of minus plus 0 0.2095 whole by f of b minus f of a so you will write as 0 0.0288 plus 0 0.2095 see the calculation so directly take this symbol we can find out a entire numerator and denominator value at a time so 0.5 times of 0 0.0288 close the bracket plus 0 0.6 times of 
0 0.2095 close the bracket write the denominator so 0 0.0288 plus 0 0.2095 is equal to so you will get 0 0.5879 so don't forget one important thing this value is should lies between 0 0.5 and 0 0.6 now calculate f of x1 f of x1 means you should substitute this value in the given equation so you will get e power 0 0.5879 into sin of 0 0.5879 minus 1 c shift ln so you will get e power 0 0.5879 sin of 0 0.5879 close the bracket minus 1 it is negative okay what is this minus 1.5 something into 10 to the power of minus 3 this type of number is called scientific form of a number in this case you should write the first number one as third decimal place so you will get minus 0 0.0015 which is negative so root lies between now root lies between 0 0.5879 and uh, previously we got the functioning value is positive at 0 0.6 so you can take this one so you can take this is a and this is b now calculate x2 which is the second better approximation you can also use this similar way a into f of b minus b times of f of a whole by f of b minus f of a substitute the values carefully what is a value new approximation which is 0. 5879 times of f of b f of b is see here 0 0.0288 minus b value which is 0 0.6 and functioning value is recent negative value so minus of minus plus 0 0.0015 whole by 0 0.0288 plus 0 0.0015 again calculate this one so take this symbol directly 0 0.0 sorry 0 0.5879 0 0.5879 times of 0 0.0288 bracket close plus 0 0.6 times of 0 0.00 15 close the bracket try we have to type the denominator 0 0.0288 plus 0 0.0015 so which is 0 0.5884 0 0.5884 now calculate f of x2 we have to calculate f of x2 now what is f of x2 substitute this functioning value uh, this value in the given equation so you will get e power 0 0.5884 sin of 0 0.5884 minus 1 by using scientific calculator we have to evaluate this one so which is shift ln e power 0 0.5884 sin times of 0 0.5884 minus 1 is equal to still it is negative so you can write this one as 0 0.003 it's enough it is negative so we should conclude that now the root lies between 0 0.5884 and 0 0.6 Now, 
root lies between new approximation value 0 0.584 and 0 0.6 you can take this is a and this is b so what is the formula for x3 again similar formula use this similar formula a into f of b minus b into f of a by f of b minus f of a okay so a is nothing but 0 0.584 times of f of b f of b is this one so 0 0.02 double eight minus f of uh, b uh, so b b times so b times is nothing but 0 06 0 0.6 times of functioning value which is minus of minus plus 0 0.003 over 0 0.02 double eight plus 0 0.003 okay actually in between we have negative sign but the functioning value is negative already so minus minus you will get positive so see the scientific calculator again So take this symbol directly 0 0.588 times of 0 0.0288 close the bracket plus 0 0.6 times of 0 0.003 close the bracket and write in the denominator 0 0.0288 plus 0 0.003 plus 0 0.003 is equal to so you will get 0. 5884 sorry 5 0 0.5885 okay now you can calculate f of x3 f of x3 is nothing but f of 0 0.5885 it is nothing but whenever we have x in the given equation we should replace it by 0 0.5885 so you will get 0 e power 0 0.5885 into sine of 0 0.5885 minus 1 see so shift ln e power 0 0.588 pi into sin of 0 0.588 pi close the bracket minus 1 is equal to so it is almost 0 so which is minus 0 0.000 okay 0 0 8 which is negative you can take x3 as the required root because it is almost 0 otherwise you can find out another approximation no problem so what is x4 now root lies between this new term and 0 0.6 again so what is x4 a into a is nothing but 0 0.588 5 times of 0 0.0288 minus 0 0.6 into f of a this is uh, f of a now okay so minus of minus plus 0 0.408 over 0 0.028 plus 0 0.00008 if you calculate this one by using scientific calculator definitely you will get 0 0.5885 so we are observing that continuously two approximations are equal x3 is equal to x4 that's why we can take we can take required root as required root of given equation 1 as 0 0.5885 right in the bracket approximately very very important thing in this problem is since trigonometric function is involved in the given equation we should reduce the scientific calculator in radians mode that is the important thing okay thank you very much in the next session i will give another model bye